Hey everyone, it's Carla Cliche and welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. It is the final day of Vlogmas. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me on this amazing, fun little Vlogmas time. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you all had a lot of fun watching it. And I also just want to give a special shout out to Aliyah Bengura. I am so, so sorry if I said your name wrong. Pretty like, please correct me in the comments down below. They have commented on almost every single one of my Vlogmas episodes. I just want to thank you so, so much. You are the sweetest. I look forward to your comments. They are so special to me. They're always just so kind. So thank you for that. Yeah, so today I didn't really vlog, which apologies for that. Since this was Christmas Day, um, I just wanted to be in the moment. I didn't want to focus on vlogging. But I will take you through a short little rundown of our days. This was actually not a typical Christmas year. This is not like the typical traditions that we follow, but it was the ones that happened this year. I remember when I was little, wake up at like seven and I would wait for my sister to wake up at eight because I wanted to do it with them and they were always been older than me. Like, you know, I came down, I saw my Santa presents and then we all opened presents from each other. I remember that being so special. So, But this year was a little bit different. So I woke up later, I woke up at like 10. I set an alarm for nine and then I snoozed it. Um, but then we came down here, we had like a bagel, so one of my sisters lives here now, so then she came over after having a brunch at her house with their little baby, my niece Georgia. She has my whole heart, I love her so much. My other sister stayed at a hotel this year instead of at our house, so they came over around like 11.30, and then we did open some presents. But yeah, about halfway through opening presents, we went and we had Christmas dinner, and then my aunts came over and we did a white elephant so let me show you my white elephant gift that i ended up with okay so i ended up with my sisters it is actually not bad we did a state theme this year which was quite fun this is kind of california -y, so we've got this nice little bowl thing we've got a little california redwood teacup and it also came with a little saucer ta-da honolulu uh, shot glasses is kind of funny that i ended up with this because I am the only one who cannot drink. Um, but I thought it was cute. Shell bowl, which is quite cool. White elephants, I get the fact that they're wasteful, but they're just like so fun. And I love doing it. And you know, with the state theme, that was kind of nice, guided you a bit. I never know what to get. We actually had a running joke in our family. Uh, so last year, my white elephant was this doll right here that I literally found at for $3. The tag is still on it. $3 at a Goodwill by Claire's house. We were like together and I was like, I'll just get this for my white elephant. My aunt got it and then she put it in my bed and then we like, when we were sending my sister some of her gifts that it wouldn't fit in her suitcase, we shipped it out to her. <laughs> so then she traveled back with it and gifted it to my mom. So quite funny. That was fun. What was different there is that usually actually we would have dinner with my dad's side of the family then, but they just two of them came over for the white elephant. It was a bit different this year, which was nice in a lot of ways, you know, it was much more chill, but also, you know, I missed that. Uh, then we like chilled for a bit, finished, give each other gifts after that. And then we played some Jackbox. We got a new Jackbox game. I don't know, like, <laughs> we check, we played Jackbox almost every night. It's like so fun. I love Jackbox. It's like very fun. Like, it's nice because like you all you need is your phone and your TV. That's like very fun for all of us to do and it's interactive. I love it. I recommend if you have a TV that's applicable with it. The third one is the best, the third party pack. That one's the best. We just got the eighth, but so far I really like that one. It was a good Christmas day. Just like weirdly doesn't feel like Christmas. But anyways, the point of this video is not for me to talk you through my Christmas day. Although apologies, I didn't film again. But it is to give you all a haul. And before I start, I want to say I am so, so thankful for being in a place where my parents and my family have always been able to give me a lot of gifts. And I feel very spoiled for that. And I hope that when I'm showing you this, it's just fun and you find it enjoyable and I'm not in any way trying to make anyone feel jealous. If you're in a place where you unfortunately cannot have many gifts, I am so sorry and I hope that times will get better for you and you can get into a place in your life where you feel okay buying fun things, you know, for your family and getting fun things. But I understand that that is not something for everyone and a lot of people grew up where they did not have gifts for Christmas and I just want to acknowledge that fact you know acknowledge the fact that I'm, I am in a very privileged place and I am so thankful for that and I'm so thankful for all of my family who got me these amazing wonderful gifts okay enough talk of that it's very important but let's get to the uh, Christmas haul so many fun things um, I just thought this would be fun and people love I love watching other people's hauls I think it's like so fun I love doing it first of all this skirt isn't this so cute so this was like kind of a gift from my cousin Teresa. He thrifted it and just didn't end up liking it very much and gave it to me because he thought it was very me. So thank you. This is very me. I love it very much. Thank you very much. And then these socks. They're like little Christmas socks for my sister. 
that I put on earlier today. They're super cute. They're very warm. I love them. This book called The Placement. I haven't heard of it, but it sounds really good. It's about like this clone. Quite interesting. I'm excited to read that. I'm a big reader. Um, unfortunately, just recently with school and stuff, I haven't had time to read books of my choosing, but I do love them. And on that note, we've got a Heartstopper of the Yearbook one. I love the Heartstopper series so much. If you haven't read it, if you haven't seen it on Netflix, I highly recommend I love Alice Oseman's literature. I've also read like a few of her novels and they're so good and I really want to read the rest but I do not have time. It's so cool. I love it. And then we've got a unofficial Harry Potter cooking book. I love cooking. I do like Harry Potter. The Beloved Books by none other than Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, so this is really cool. Okay, so this is the stuff that was from like my Secret Santa on Christmas Eve. So thank you to my Secret Santa, Rigby. Um, also these chocolates that my aunt got me that are like so good I had like half of them already but first of all we have this Stranger Things mug and what's really cool about this is like the bottom of it has a little demogorgon it's so cute I love it there's a bunch of like Stranger Things themed tea Eleven's maple syrup Scoops Ahoy special demogorgon's revenge and Dusty Bun snack pack snack packs but it's spelled weirdly super excited to try all this it's definitely like fun little tea recipes and then to go along with it some boba which i'm very excited for i made boba from scratch once it went okay it didn't go horribly they were kind of huge though so i'm very excited for this seems much easier and i love boba I like to make it at home these little mochis that are quite good we tried them in my christmas eve vlog so i'll link that video up in the corner and down below go check it out definitely like some different flavors okay so this is like in my stocking is this cute little kitty with like a pizza it's so cute and it's so throwable. I was throwing it around all morning. So fun. I love him. And this tag, okay, this tag. I don't know if you can like tell on camera because of the way it is, but when it like wags its tail. We've got a bunch of candy from the stocking. We've got a little song game, which means really fun. I don't know, some sort of guessing the song game. I don't know, I gotta try it. Also this adorable little like stained glass box which is so cool. I'm so excited to find something to put in it. It's just like so pretty. Beauty product stuff. We've got this mascara that I actually already tried on a little bit. So great. A chapstick, always a necessity. We've got a conditioner. I love this conditioner. Well, okay, I haven't tried it, but I love the Not Your Mother's um, leaving cream, which I also have. A little cute one of that. So this is their conditioner, so I'm excited to try that. We've also got this leave-in from Shea Moisturizer. This uh, leave-in conditioner mask from Shea Moisturizer. Super excited to try that. I haven't tried stuff from Shea Moisturizer, but I did put it on my list because I've heard it's really great. And then we've got shampoo and conditioner set from there too. This will last me quite a while. I'm very excited for all of this. Moving on to skincare. We've got a Youth of the People cleanser set, which amazing i love use of the people really great brand highly recommend and they have a cute little travel pack which is like amazing and like i love their packaging it's just like so cute so very excited for that so that's what one sister got me and then another sister got me the cleanser and then i also have all the other stuff from the other sister so very fun so i've got the uh dream mask i haven't tried this but i'm very excited to i I've heard good things and I love this brand. Energizing facial, I, I think it's like a serum. I'm not quite sure, but I've seen it on their website. Looks very fun. Superfood, a whip moisturizer cream. Hello, focus please. So this is really fun. So I got this on a little test packet and I actually loved it more than their other moisturizer. So I'm very excited to try this one. Cotton candy bath bomb, which is really fun. This really cool Loki bath bomb from Witch Baby, which is a brand my sister loves. And she gets me, and I love it too. It's really great. We've got this soap with like a Taurus gemstone in it. Very fun. Cold stone bath bomb, which is fun. Another little rune stone bath bomb. Apple pie mask and a pumpkin spice mask. We got this little makeup palette, which is very fun. Hello. Open, please. It took me so long to figure out how to open this. It's so, it's so easy. Okay. Very cool. Very nice selection of things. It is a... I don't know. I'm not a huge makeup person. Like, um, I wear makeup every day, but, like, I don't, like, know all the brands or stuff like that. So I'm very excited about this. Very fun. Most of my makeup I got when I was, like, eight, and I'm just, like, continuing to use. Okay, we've got this fairy tale lotion, which smells so good. And who doesn't need lotion? Very nice smell. I very much like that. I always need lotion. Actually, <laughs> come on, guys. 
and I need it right now. Um, give it a nice little, that was too much, it's fine. It smells delicious. And then we've got a bunch of these little car things, which like I thought were just like you just put on your thing, on your like vent, and they look pretty, but I also think they have like smell packets with them, so very cool, very excited to try that. I don't know like how that works. Fun, excited, I'm very excited about you know, I, I'll be able to drive in six months. <laughs> I've got this stuff that, like, you can use to, like, clean out your car. Or, like, get stuff out of the crevices, which is very nice. Like, my car is my dad's old car, and it's maybe got some stuff I can already use this for. <laughs> so that's really, really useful, you know? A nice selection of very pretty gold earrings, which is very fun. These earrings that my cousin gave me that she actually makes, which is so cool, and they're so cute. I love them. I don't wear this... We give earrings often, but they're so fun for like a special occasion, so I love it. Um, I'll link her Instagram down below. I don't think she's currently like open and like selling stuff, but I could be wrong. I'll link the Instagram down below if you want to check it out. I'm not 100% either way, but very fun gift to get. She's got this very pretty little gold necklace, which I love. It's got a cute little heart on the end. Very fun. I need to wear, like, I'm trying to wear more jewelry that's like cute, you know? And then. We've got some more sort of candy at the bottom of that. And then finally, we will finish off with my Funko Pops. I'm a Funko Pop collector. So we have got Star Wars. We've got Mandalorian. With a little baby Yoda. Like, adorable. I love that. Nick Fury, specifically from Captain Marvel, which is so fun. Hawkeye from, like, everything, but specifically Hawkeye. And then this really cool big Moon Knight one that comes with a comic and it's like in a very fancy display case. It's so cool. And then who have been Halloween the past couple of years, we've got um, Kate Bishop who I was this year, like one of my new favorite Marvel characters so I love that so much. Um, and then used to be like my favorite Marvel character, maybe still is, kind of hate that she went and kidnapped a child but Scarlet Witch Wanda was always my favorite. Um, WandaVision, very good show, and then she like, kidnapped someone, and I was like, oh, girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> so I don't know how to feel about that. And, like, being a Wanda stan is kind of taboo now, because they're kind of insane. So I'll be a happy Kate Bishop stan. You know, that's pretty much it. It's every one last thing, which is, like, so cool and so amazing, and wow. Um, I have an Apple Watch now, which is really fun. I don't know how to showcase this. So that's really cool. I'm like, I've been like messing around with it and doing new things. So that's like so fun. It's got a nice like sleek white look, which I love. I had a Fitbit in the past, was kind of starting to break and glitch out. And Apple Watch is so nice because I can literally text. Oh, which is so nice in class. Except for like every time I'm texting now, it's like I can't, I don't get it right. I'm not clicking the right button. It says I have two messages. Let's reply to something. I'm so bad at typing. Like, can we look at this? Can we look at how bad this is? Here, I'll just take it off. <laughs> How funny is that? Slay, but do you see how there's an H in there? Because I literally can't type. But I'm having fun with it. It's quite fun. But yeah, that is my haul for Christmas. And that is all for this vlog. And that is all for Vlogmas 2022. That is crazy, guys. So I know last year I took a break because it was the whole 30 days. But I really want to get to posting some New Year content. And I love doing that. I'm doing it anyway. So we'll be posting some New Year content. New Year's Eve things, which I'm like, I'm excited to start a New Year's. Always an exciting thing. It's always like, I'm going to do all of this. How much of it happened? Not much. But that's okay. I'm gonna do like a reflection on my goals that I set at the beginning of the year. How much did I achieve? And setting new goals for the year. Really like hoping to stick to them. And I always think that. And does it ever happen? No. But we're gonna do it and I'm excited for that. And so great content to come. Be sure to subscribe down below and ding the bell so you don't miss it. I just wanna thank you all again uh, for coming along this vlogmas journey with me. It was so fun. I love doing it. Comment down below uh, something that you got for Christmas or a holiday or just something that you've like gotten recently that you enjoy to get you know something you did recently that was fun i'd love to hear about it give this a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it it might boost this video out to more people who also may enjoy seeing it that is all for today unfortunately i will not see you tomorrow bye everyone